of comfort stations for people living on Hawaii streets. There's a new call tonight for urban rest stops. That would be a place where those down on their luck can tidy up. KITV Force Andrew Pereira has the details. And Andrew, one Honolulu councilman has some big plans to help the homeless. Yeah, you're right, Yunji. Councilman Joey Monahan says after a hot shower, service providers would be on hand to offer help. <laughs> This urban rest stop in Seattle provides a hygienic lifeline to many of the city's homeless. Honolulu Councilman Joey Monahan says Seattle has been doing this in one form or another since 1982. Monahan says the hygiene centers can provide much more than just a warm shower and a clean sink. It gets people in the door, uh, you get to talk to them, and you get to identify their needs and uh, refer them to the uh, uh, proper uh, services that they would be needing. Monahan says Aala Park would be the perfect location for the first hygiene center. In fact, these restrooms at the park are already being used by those down on their luck to wash up. The fixtures work and all of that, but um, it's, it's not going to be itself good enough to be a hygiene center because you, you really can't clean yourself uh, in, in a shower-like setting. Monahan's idea is in the form of a resolution, which means Mayor Kirk Caldwell's administration does not have to act if it doesn't want to. But the proposal has the support of other council members. Councilmember Monahan's showing that he's being compassionate and that he's coming up with another common sense approach to providing yet additional assistance to the less fortunate. Monahan's concept comes as the city attempts to remove homeless from city sidewalks under Bill 7, which some have called callous. On July 5th, city crews cleared sidewalks at Pawa'a Inha Park, but some of those who were living there have returned. The same is true for the sidewalk on Baratania Street near Aala Park, cleared earlier this month, but now cluttered. The mayor's doing what he can with the tools and the resources that are at his disposal, but really, What's going to make this ordinance successful is continuous and active enforcement. As you can plainly see, the city council is trying to come up with as many tools as possible to address homelessness. If Monahan's resolution is adopted, it calls on the city to study the possibility of hygiene centers and report back in 90 days. The mayor says he'll make a decision if the resolution passes. Yanji Paula, we'll send it back to you.